The watch list is the most important feature on your chart if you're looking to organize, follow, and research the symbols that you care about most. Well, what do we mean by that? Well, these could be the symbols that you're trading, charting, or watching for a possible investment. And you may have just watched how we open the watch list. And that is the key to this is look at our mouse here as we go up to the top right of the screen and we hover our mouse over the watch list details and news menu. Then we click to open it and now it is our watch list. Now the basics of the watch list are the plus sign right up here at the top right which says add symbol. So you can add a symbol to your watch list rather quickly by clicking this plus symbol and then typing in the symbol that you want to add to the watch list. So if we wanted to add Tesla, TSLA, here's the plus sign, let's click plus. And now it's been added to our watch list. We can see it right down here at the bottom of the watch list, but keep in mind, you can click and hold and drag this symbol effectively anywhere you want on your watch list. So it's really as simple as that. Now, we want to also remind you of another very important feature of the watch list, which is that if you have the chart open and you open your symbol search and you type in a name, it could be a cryptocurrency or anything of the sort. Well, once you do add this symbol to your chart, what's really important here is that there is a hotkey, which is option plus W, and it will suddenly be added to your watch list just like that. Now, we're on a Mac, so it's option plus W, but if you're on a PC, it's going to be alt plus W. When your watch list is created, you can think of this uh, a lot like any other uh, you know, uh, spreadsheet or, or list that you've worked with. You're going to see there's a little X here so you can quickly remove specific things from your watch list. We just demonstrated how you can move symbols around on your watch list by clicking, dragging, holding, then releasing. In addition, you may notice that we have a really neatly organized watch list here by what's called sections. So sections are how you attach the symbols in your watch list to a specific section. Crypto, crypto layer ones, currencies and FX, interest rates, commodities, US sectors, US equities. What we're gonna do is also now show you how you can have multiple watch lists. So you're gonna see a drop down here. Our, this watch list is called markets. We click to open it. And what we can do is open up a watch list that doesn't have any uh, sections at the moment. So actually this one says example of a section, but let's delete this. So if we had just made this watch list, we added these four symbols here. And then of course we wanted to make a section. We would go to the three dots here and we would click and then we would find the add section button and click again. And now we have a section here. We can double click example of section. Let's type this, press enter. We can drag the section to the top and all of these symbols will suddenly be included within this section. We can collapse it or open it. And this is the section tool. Now let's open up our multiple watch lists, go back to the markets watch list that we prepared for this demonstration. And we want to remind you of a few other really important things, which is that the watch list is fully customizable. So you can create the perfect layout for you, whether you want the watch list really wide across your screen or perhaps a little smaller so that you can focus in only on the chart. We'll actually make this a little bit wider. Also pay attention to the fact that when you click a symbol in your watch list, the chart automatically updates with it. So you can breeze through many charts that you're looking to trade, invest, or follow just by building a really, really good watch list. Also below, whenever you click a symbol in the watch list, you're going to get this details and news section related to the symbol that you have selected here. If you scroll down, you can see the price, the range, the 52 week range. You get news here, ideas, minds, notes. And as you scroll down, there are essentially endless facts and bits of information for you to learn more about the symbol you've selected. And depending on what type of symbol you have selected really determines all of the news that you're going to get. As you can see, if you have a stock selected, you're gonna be able to see things like income statements, performance, technicals, analyst rating, as well as a company profile down here. And you can even see how many employees work at the company, for example. One final note is that you can write notes. So these are some example notes that we just prepared for this video. And 
if you just type in this as an example, you can create your own note taking process here and take daily notes about what's happening on your watch list. One final thing before we head out is we want to turn your attention to advanced view. So if you want your watch list to look at an advanced view like this that's also shareable so you can share your watch list with friends colleagues professionals social networks anything of the sort you're going to want to click the advanced view button and from here you can get an advanced view of your watch list on one giant screen that can be sorted with different breakdowns and it will be perfect especially if you're looking to share it out across the web so thanks so much for watching get started with your watch list today